I want the project to be very decentralized and there's a natural tendency to form communities around founders and I hope and wish the community to be formed around itself and I wish myself to just be part of it. Thanks for everyone for coming and just consider me one of the crowd. What's up Crypto Crew and welcome back or if this is your first time I'm Captain Crypto Might actively escaping the matrix scoping out the crypto ocean so if you like your odds get on the boat stay up to date thumbs up and join the hunt into the boat crypto crew today we're diving into the groundbreaking vision of jonathan sampolinsky and how his creation caspa is set to revolutionize the world of crypto and decentralized finance or DeFi, and that is amidst all the caspa fud but remember crypto crew on this crypto ocean we walk by faith not by sight if you lack faith today you lack the foresight that pays off tomorrow meaning you won't have the conviction to cover you in between this is not financial advice caspa is just my high conviction play that i share with conviction we have a proof of stake based on the Casper FFG plus LMD Ghost. As I mentioned, combines together the benefits of a traditional BFT consensus and a chain based consensus, um, and also Ghost on this wonderful algorithm from Aviva Zohar and uh, Yonatan Sampolinsky that we uh, adapted to a proof of, or Vlad adapted to a proof of stake context. From instant confirmations to low fees and seamless user experience, Caspa is tackling the biggest challenges in crypto head on. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. In essence, Crypto Crew, Caspa is a proof of work crypto, i.e. a digital asset. And like with all assets, you need to protect your Caspa. This is why on this channel, I will continue to encourage you to store your Caspa offline on a cold storage. My personal favorite is the Tangent Wallet. Plug and play, easy to use and a great way to practice self-custody and the most affordable cold storage on top of that so if you wish to order your tangent wallet today you can get 10 percent off link in the description box below thanks so much for your consideration and support in advance may the lord jesus christ bless you all what other cryptocurrency should you buy what's the next bitcoin well let's explore how jonathan sampolinsky's visionary project is paving the way for the future of DeFi and why it's worth paying attention to it right now to understand caspa's potential we need to go back to its foundation in 2021 when jonathan sampolinsky laid out his vision for a faster more scalable and fairer blockchain shout out the block hash podcast the DeFi stack is you know has multiple layers mm -hmm. and we are focusing on the infrastructure layer meaning the, the transaction sequencing layer. Without considering the logic of transactions just yet, without considering how to handle the state, you know, how to create interesting uh, versions of, of Uniswap or other kinds of protocols, we are focusing on who gets to order transactions, what's the performance of this layer, and what's the trust assumptions of this layer. Imagine you're a, you're a wallet for, for DeFi users. You, know, you, want, you want to siphon basically a user base or to provide your users with, with good service. So you need to provide them with several metrics. You know, you need to, to decide how to optimize the user's experience. You will need to choose who's, who orders the transactions. You can decide to wait for the main chain to order the transaction. You can decide that the roll-up operator will order your transaction. And you can decide that Caspa sidechain will, will order the transaction. And our focus is to, to be this, you know, to be a prominent sequencer for DeFi users. Practically, this means that the wallet will hopefully send the transactions through our service. Our service will order the transactions and will you know, communicate with the Ethereum main chain in a more limited manner you know, to utilize the scalability of our system and the performance. So the angles are speed of confirmation. We are mm -hmm. aiming for instant confirmation. By instant, I mean that the protocol does not impose any latency that the internet, you know, over the, the natural latency of the internet. So mm -hmm. you think, you know, like you, like Google res results, you enter, you press enter, and you get it. So that's what we want. The, the immediate, this immediate confirmation is very, very important. From the user experience, it's a game changer that you get immediate confirmation, regardless of the you know, theoretical security implications, which we can get into. So this is one aspect. Another aspect is the fees, which are, of course, something that's very essential for you know it's a, it's a hot topic uh, especially when you know we're going out of the bull market and the bull market was felt mm -hmm. at a very 
you know, it was very clear to everyone. And then, and then another very important aspect is the manipulation resistance of the ordering. We want to circumvent the public mempool. We want to ensure that miners cannot uh, collude in time and cannot extract the value from the user. And this requires a very fast block rate, let's say 10 blocks per second and more. Hopefully we'll get to 100 blocks per second and then, I, you know, then I'm good. So to wrap up, speed, uh, fees, and manipulation resistance from the user experience perspective. You also mentioned Caspa a little a little while ago as well. Um, what is that exactly? So Caspa is, is basically the name of the um, of the cryptocurrency or token that Daglab is developing. It's the mm-hmm. token that is basically the engine or the gas of this this ordering this sequencing layer. Um, so Caspa stands for in Aramaic it's silver or money in ancient Aramaic, but it's a it's a nice name. We thought it's catchy. That's a cool name. Caspa already has a testnet, and we are trying to accelerate you know the block the block rate so it looks much more cool than one block per second. We just want Caspa mm-hmm. to to look like a very 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 extreme fast uh, extreme block block DAG. We hope it will be cool, not only the name. Yeah. What, what's the goal for it? Is it to be something that's a uh, transactional? It's basically the the token that that you use to auction the ordering in the sequence you know in the in the blocks okay so yeah it's, i would say it's just the gas or the au- auction token fast forward to today and caspa is on the brink of major upgrades that could propel it to the forefront of the crypto ocean these upgrades include enhanced scalability improved network efficiency and even more robust security features Despite the FUD circulating within the Caspa community at the moment, the fundamentals of Caspa remain strong and its development team is laser focused on delivering a blog DAG that lives up to Sompolinsky's original vision. What's even more exciting is the potential for Caspa's price to surge as these upgrades roll out in 2025. With its innovative technology and growing adoption, many believe Casp is undervalued and poised for a breakout. It's not just a cryptocurrency. Caspa is a movement to redefine what is possible on the crypto ocean. The bull market is not a very healthy environment for serious projects. You know, every stupid NFT gets so much attention mm-hmm. and it's kind of hard to get to get traction when you are building something that's more robust and more thought through, which requires more cautious development rather than, you know, these NFTs. I don't necessarily want a bear market, but this kind of, of um, market of prices is, is more healthy and more uh, comfortable atmosphere for builders. Um, and it's not only my my own sentiment. I talk with other founders and other builders, and it's it's significantly easier to interact with people on meaningful features and meaningful research question questions when when the price is kind of steady and everyone is relaxed after they you know they had their buck. In terms of of the future of crypto, I guess it really depends on what will happen with Ethereum's layer two because there is a scenario which I coined. Um, Ethereum supernova event where everyone's attention is on Ethereum DeFi. At the same time, the main chain is not able to process everything. So everyone goes to, to L2 and things become very fragmented, not only in terms of actual user experience, but also in terms of social consensus, meaning what does a token on this rollup represent versus a token on that rollup? And you kind of can imagine one scenario where everything is, is harmonious and tokens can be represented easily across platforms. But you can also imagine a scenario where just everything's everything falls apart in the sense that every rollups token representation is a standalone standalone token and cannot be easily you know fungible over, uh, across other rollups. And if Ethereum will go undergo this supernova event, then the community will not will no longer be centered around one layer. You know, identifying as a as a defined Ethereum. It will be it will be more open to to other projects, but in terms of actual usage and actual representation and actual exchanges uh, adoption, this will be a very big event if if Ethereum's uh, layer two is, is falling apart. Um, that that's what projects, uh, roll up projects, and other projects are estimating uh, to deliver, and that's basically what I'm looking for. Jonathan Sampolinsky's work is proof that technology on the crypto ocean can evolve to meeting the demands of the future. So while many skeptics and doubters may focus on the FUD, the truth is that Caspa is a project built on a solid foundation of innovation and vision with instant confirmations, low fees, and a commitment 
to decentralization, Caspa is more than just another crypto project. It is a revolution in the making. Remember, Crypto Crew, if you lack faith today, you will lack the foresight that pays off tomorrow, meaning you won't have the conviction to cover you in between. Again, not financial advice, of course. Caspa is just my high conviction play that I share with conviction. Walk by faith and not by sight. So Crypto Crew, over to you. What is your conviction level on Caspa today? FUD or Fortune? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Stick around. Fix your mind before you get to the grind. And with that said, let's continue to escape the matrix. Let's continue to be on the lookout for the next big thing here on the crypto ocean. Grow in grace and let's make some crypto waves. Say I.